Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. of Summer TV Sweeps Week, we are going to be talking about cable shows, and I've got two of them to talk to you guys about. One that I don't think you're going to enjoy my review of very much, and the other one is a show that I got into way too late, and now that it is here, I am officially on track with the current season, and let's begin. Why even hesitate? And ironically, both of these shows are on FX. The first one that I want to talk about is the brand new show that takes place in the X-Men cinematic universe called Legion, starring Dan Stevens as Legion himself. So this was a show that I really didn't know was even happening. It came out out of the blue, and based on the fact that it is about the character Legion, who is a really interesting character in the Marvel comic book universe, particularly in the X-Men universe, of course. He is a very interesting mutant with unbelievable powers, probably even more powerful than Jean Grey herself, and this is basically his story about how he is found, how he learns how to tap into his powers, and that's pretty much where we're going to talk about Legion. This is a show that I gave a shot at because everybody was talking about it. It's gotten extremely high ratings. It's one of the best shows on television. But I don't like it. I don't understand why I don't like it. I watched the pilot. I watched the second episode. Don't get me wrong, the production value is fantastic. The story is very gripping, and the acting is fantastic. But I just couldn't get on board with it. It's just not something that I enjoyed, and it's not something that I am planning on rewatching and trying to get back into it. And the same could be said about the fact that they just recently announced that there's going to be another X-Men show called The Gifted coming out on Fox, and I'm not even interested in that one. I think it's just for me to be better off to sticking with the X-Men films, and that's pretty much it. But the next show that I want to talk about, of course, is also on FX, and it is the eighth season of Archer, which is called Archer Dream. Land. Now, Archer was a show that everybody was telling me to watch, and I finally went on to Netflix, and I binged the first six seasons, and I absolutely love the show. I think the cast is fantastic, and after watching the seventh season on Netflix, I was really excited to watch the eighth one, because the seventh season ended on a cliffhanger, and this season, Archer Dreamland, is basically about, while Archer was in a coma, we get a whole Dreamland sequence of him in a noir world, and it's basically the see how Archer will handle himself in a world like that. All of the cast members are there, including Lana and Figgis and Pam and Cheryl and his mom, but they're all in different forms and playing different characters, even though they still keep their personalities. It is a little bit weird to see Pam as a dude. It's just something that I don't buy for some strange apparent reason, but the show season itself was not as strong as some of the previous ones. I basically was watching it. I had a few laughs here and there, but I was basically saying to myself, when the hell is Archer going to wake the hell up and we're going to go back to the modern world and just see Sterling Archer as he is supposed to be? Once again, I got a couple of really good laughs. There are some really funny moments in the season, but the whole season is not really grabbing me as much as the previous seasons of Archer have. I thought that season 7 was really, really funny, and this one not so much, but I know for a solid fact that its fan base is loyal, its fan base will watch, and I'm pretty certain that season 9 will be a very good season. I'm also not too happy about the fact that this season was very, very short. I mean, it was only 8 episodes, and I cannot understand why. What does that actually mean? Is this show in trouble? Is the show just running out of ideas? I'm not sure. I highly doubt that that's the reason as to why, but not such a strong season this year for Marcher, but still not enough to get me away from the show. I will watch season 9 when it airs. But that's it, everybody. Two new shows, and I appreciate the fact that you came to watch today. Put your comments in the box below. I really want to get some comments from people about Legion, because I need to know what I'm missing here. But in the meantime, I will see you guys for another television episode tomorrow, and I will see you then. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.